Greetings and welcome. This is Rajiv Makhni on the Gadget 360 show and you can see it. My body language, my expression, my voice. I'm very excited. Very excited because of this guy. This is our top story defunct launch in India. This is a Swedish brand that is a Sonos killer. I've been waiting for them to come with the defunct home series in India and they are finally here. You know why I'm so excited? Lots of stuff including the sound, their Wi-Fi speakers, room to room. But you can customize it. I have the grey one. Think of any colour, any pattern in the world actually bring it in. It's priced at about half of Sonos. Then our big review, the Fujifilm X-H2. Quite an amazing camera. Up to 8K resolution for videos, 40 megapixel for photography, incredible color science and they brought in a lot of camera phone features into a camera. Then our third story is absolutely amazing. So you know Leica cameras world famous right I mean they are the best but they're now moving towards artist editions. What does that mean? They tie up with an artist and they make unique designs especially like for the Leica M11. They collaborated with a very famous artist Nandan P. You've got to see what he did with this camera. And in our special segment the latest air purifier to beat all pollution the Samsung AX46. So multi-layered high efficiency purification system they really do a good job with that and three-way airflow and a lot of area coverage take a look at our review let's get started with today's show our top story today is a story I'm personally super excited about. Defunct's launch in India. This is a Swedish brand, like I said, right in the beginning. And the Defunct Home series is a absolute Sonos killer. So the brand story and the launch of this is quite interesting why they started off. And they've partnered with Salora in India and they've brought this to India. The lineup of speakers has speakers, TWS and AirPods. We're today doing the Defunct Home. So this is the best part about it besides the sound and the looks and the design. It's the customizable covers that is absolutely incredible. So suppose you want this grey one in let's say a flaming red or you want your own logo or anything else you want on it. I mean anything. Think of it and you can do it. It's incredible. Second, uh, the app is great, works very well, the sound is fantastic and the best part is that even though it has all of it going for it, they are priced really, really well. Take a look. Wi-Fi room-to-room speakers is a big market but with surprisingly less competition. Sonos pretty much rules the roost in this category. Thus, when we heard that its biggest competitor, defunct from Sweden, was coming to India, we had high expectations. The Defunct Home was launched in India at a glittering hands-on event. Defunct Home is a multi-room Wi-Fi speaker with customizable sound and style with an emphasis on style. The design is stunning with a perfectly round shape. It comes in two sizes and in two default color options, black or white. But the big USB is that it can be ordered in any color or pattern that you desire. A big boon for interior designers and customers looking to get the speaker perfect for their room. We are selling an audio product, so the audio quality must be good. Otherwise, you're, even if you sell something for cheaper or less expensive, you're not going to get away with a, a bad quality when it comes to audio. But I do think that the personalization part adds another dimension to actually how, why people would buy ours. Availability is already there. Uh, currently, of course, it will get shipped from Sweden. You can go to the website, upload the picture you want, and the product will be produced and shipped from Sweden. But we are in active discussion with a few uh, vendors here who do this kind of printing. And I'm hopeful within three months we can start delivering this product from India itself. You'll also find a mini stand in your package that helps set your speaker with stability on any given platform. This too can be interchanged with a floor stand to extend its height or a corner mount to attach it to the wall. Let's now get down to the two things that make this stand out even more. The sound and the tech behind it. The defunct home multi-room speaker system allows you to connect a network of up to 38 speakers by using the Wi-Fi which is a significant step up from connecting one speaker over Bluetooth. Setup is easy and works elegantly without any complicated steps. All this is at the tip of your fingers by just downloading the app on your phone. One click to the defunct home app opens an array of options leading to your favorite music. You can listen to music on Amazon, Spotify, iTunes and many other platforms. The system also comes with a built-in Alexa. This is easy to set up and use. You can separately control each speaker 
which means you can play up to 38 different songs at 38 different volume levels at exactly the same time. Talking about the volume, there are two ways to tweak it, either directly on the speaker or through your phone. The sound signature is excellent, the lows rumble and thump, the mids and vocals are crystal clear and the highs clarify instrument separation. The defunct home mini starts off at Rs 21,999 and if you're looking for something bigger, you can get the larger size at Rs 36,999. Compared to the Sonos 1 or Sonos 5, these are priced at half but with better ergonomics and sound. My goal is not to be the biggest audio brand in the world, but to deliver the best value for money products to the end consumer. The speakers are currently up for grabs online and offline. I think our next target would be to take some large retail formats like Chroma or Reliance, where there's enough space to you know demonstrate the product, especially the defunct home. Watch out for our detailed long-term review very soon. Let's move on now to our next big story, the Fujifilm X-H2. Now this is a camera that is the best of both worlds, photography and videography. Highest resolution seen on an APS-C sensor, multitude of color options, even though Fuji gets their color science absolutely right. Lots of interesting things that they've added, features that I've never normally seen on a standalone camera. Mostly you see these in a camera phone. Of course this is expensive, by the time you put it all together it's going to cost you a pretty penny. But I still think with the kind of results we got, this is absolutely worth it. Fujifilm has launched yet another flagship camera, the X-H2, which is undoubtedly a remarkable product. But at a time where photography and videography have been boiled down to flipping your phone out and taking a pic or video, can this traditional camera stand a chance? Can it be relevant in this era of convenience? Let's find out. Exterior-wise, the camera is quite simple and elegant. It has a standard retro body with a much improved grip, especially for those of you who like holding the camera in your hand rather than having it swung around your neck. It has an LCD screen on the back that is extremely practical. You can open it, flip it or even tilt it to preview your image. It also has the phone-like attribute of swiping up and down when in portrait mode or left and right when in landscape mode to check the photos you've clicked. There's a mini display on the top of the camera that shows some basic but crucial information like the battery level or the available record time. What's amazing is that two pieces of information appear even when the camera is off. The X-H2's best external quality has to be its dial on the top. It may look ancient, but it's a time-saving component. It has up to eight color presets that you can easily switch to while on the go. We'll come back to color in a bit, but let's have a look at the main selling point of this camera. It's 40.2 megapixel sensor. This upgrade roughly translates to higher resolution images and videos. So all you shutterbugs out there, get ready for your pictures to look even better. There's in-body stabilization, a pixel shift multi-shot feature, the MF assist, all just the tip of the iceberg when talking about innovation in photography within this camera. Filmmakers and YouTubers, Fujifilm has not forgotten about you. With the 40.2 megapixel sensor, you can now shoot footage in up to 8K resolution provided it's at 30p. Still impressive. It's the highest resolution seen on any standard APS-C sensor. It also has new motion detectors and subject focus capabilities. These additions would be really handy for solo vloggers who find it hard to adjust focus while shooting themselves. Getting back to colors, it's not news that Fujifilm is the best in the industry when it comes to color science. The dynamics and the depth are truly unmatched. The raw footage is so close to the final look that it saves time in the edit room. Another labor-saving feature is the plethora of filters offered on the video mode. 
If your preference is to shoot in black and white or vintage style or with real-time colors or maybe something completely different, you can pretty much do it all. And just when you think that nothing can top all this, the X-H2 can also record footage that supports Apple Pro Res and Blackmagic RAW, the unparalleled codex. So whether you're a photographer or a videographer, this camera has the capacity to make you unstoppable. Its waterproof aspect enables you to go all out in your creative exploration to capture beauty with no fear. For our professionals who struggle with the camera dying because of extreme heat, know that the X-H2 has a very cool surprise inside, a cooling fan. Is this camera perfect? Of course not. There are things that can be improved on like speed or battery life, but it's not a stretch to say that the X-H2 is quite unrivaled in terms of its quality for both stills and videos. And it's a breath of fresh air to see a camera for once add components of a phone, like the swiping and filter options we mentioned before. And revisiting the question we asked in the beginning, Fujifilm X-H2 is most certainly upholding and creating trends, as a player still active in the game. In fact, based on the design and capabilities we just reviewed, it may gain more customers by pleasing both traditionalists and Gen Zs. All this at 1,99,999 rupees for the body and at 2,44,999 rupees with an added 16 to 80 mm zoom lens. Our team has already gone wild exploring the many features. What are you waiting for? Now let's move on to another camera story, but from a whole different angle. Not so much about the camera inside, but the camera outside. Now Leica, world famous, do some of the best lenses and cameras in the entire world, right? They collaborated with an artist for an artist edition. This is Nandan P. So we'll talk to him also about finding out about what all he did, why he did it. Take a look at the camera first. Leica may be over a hundred year old, but its ideas are newer than ever. This brand that is most known for recording extraordinary stories has gone one step further and moved from capturing narratives to showcasing them. A recent example of this was Leica's collaboration with artist Nandan Purkhayasta to create a personalized artist edition of the new and powerful M11. This exclusive camera is where science meets the arts. Modern engineering on the inside and contemporary art on the outside. It's the combo we didn't know we needed till now. So Nandan, congratulations. Love the camera. Absolutely insanely good what you've done with it. You've completely changed the way this camera looks. But tell me, how did this collaboration with Leica happen? How did it all begin? So the whole idea was to get a Leica camera for myself. I went to the store and we started talking about what I do and about my work and uh, what kind of language do I have for my artwork. And, uh, and Leica saw my work and they took quite an interest in, my, in, the, in, the, in the whole idea, the way I have proceeded and my practice for the last uh, so many years. And they told me they want to make an exclusive Nandan Purkasta artist edition on their Leica M11 camera as a first artist edition. And so finally I got my Leica M11 which is along with my signature, which was embossed completely and engraved on the, on the body. It was done completely in uh, Witzler, Germany. Um, they just wanted to have, the, have my paintings and my signature, uh, which I have sent it to them. And uh, that's how we started with the work. And then we've seen the artwork. I think it's one of the best looking cameras I've ever seen in the world. But what's the significance of the artwork that you've actually made? So the inspiration behind the artwork, which is on the camera, is about the mask, it's about the celebration, it's about the stage show, which, uh, uh, which, which was drawn accordingly with, that, uh, with, with, with the series of work. Now when Leica saw my work and when they approached me, they have taken the particular scale of work and they placed it in such a way so that it has to have a very focal point about it, how the characters are being placed and they are all about celebrating the whole whole essence of the camera and the lens. I think the language of work which is there in my, in my painting, I think it shows the same. So every time whenever I see, I'm going to just relate with it and uh, experiencing the presence of it grandly. 
So is this a working model? Will you be using the camera? Will this camera be available for sale later? How does all of it work out? I am a photography enthusiast, but um, though I've, I haven't practiced it so much, but it's just a good feel of capturing the best of the photographs, which I can, hopefully I can do it. Now after having this, probably I'm sure I'm going to create a great body of work with Leica. And currently it's a very exclusive Nandan Purkas edition. It's not there in the market. It's just my edition. We might think of more possibilities in near future and we are working on it, surely. And I really want to live with Leica forever. Let's take a quick break right now on the Gadget 360 show. When we come back, lots more happening. And let's move on now to our special segment, the latest air purifier to beat the pollution, the Samsung AX46. Now, this is a great, great effort by Samsung. This is a great effort by Samsung because they've really looked at Indian conditions and brought out something for it. So three layers of purification captures about 99.97% of dust and pollutants, antibacterial dust collecting filter. It has a front air intake and a three-way airflow. And it's very, very silent, less than 50 dB of noise, which usually is the biggest problem with air purifiers. I mean, do you want to get clean air or do you want to protect your ears? Well, this one takes care of both and a whole lot more. Here's our review. With Delhi's air pollution headed down the drain, even being at home has become a health hazard. Samsung's most recent launch, the AX46, has promised to bring that safety back to your house with the press of a button. But can this internet-enabled air purifier live up to its guarantee? Getting straight down to business, the AX46 has a multi-layered high-efficiency purification system that may be invisible to the eye. But it does all the behind-the-scenes work of producing clean air. The pre-filter acts like a frontline soldier, immediately blocking harmful particles. It can be removed and washed periodically, simplifying the maintenance work for you. Behind it is the activated carbon deodorization filter that specifically focuses on preventing dangerous gases from passing through. This layer is especially beneficial if you are living in a place with minimal to zero ventilation. It can easily be replaced when needed. The final layer is the dust collecting filter coated in zinc oxide and the Gandalf of filtration to make sure even the ultra fine dust doesn't get past it. With dust accounting for 30 to 40% of Delhi's pollution problem, this is the perfect icing on the cake for this purifier. Again, all this with a press of a button. But you may not always have the time or energy to walk up and press it. What then? Don't worry, because Samsung has made life really convenient with their SmartThings app. You can have remote access to the purifier anytime, anywhere. This option is also useful to prep your room before you even enter it. Through the app, you can also set the filter on auto or sleep mode to save energy. Talking about sleep mode, the filter generates less than 50 decibel sound, taking away the noise problem that purifiers generally have. The best part is that you get to keep a tab on the air quality of your room to make sure the purifier is actually making a difference. You can check this on the SmartThings app or in the small display at the top of the purifier. Its numeric AQ sensor gives you accurate information about the gas, dust and bacteria levels around you. Convenient and helpful, right? No doubt that it is an effective air purifier, but is it worth being Rs 26,999, a price that is higher than most non-Dyson air purifiers? What do you think? That then was the Gadget 360 show. Did you see what all we had? And do you know the promise I'm making to you right now? Whatever you saw this week, I'll better it next week for sure. See you on that show.